go. Today I want to speak about a Bible for Messianic Judaism. Now you might say, well, aren't you sort of a Johnny come lately? No. The statement when we incorporated Artists for Israel International in 1980, 36 years ago, was promoting biblical Judaism. And it was true then and it's true now. And what I want to talk to you today is about some problems that have arisen. Here is the Nestle Aland Greek New Testament. When you open it up to the fourth gospel and you look at the first three verses, you see out in the margin some references. References to the Tanakh. Remember when Rav Shaul went into the shul, when Rav Shaul preached, he would get his doctrine from the Tanakh. And here it says, Proverbs 8.22s. I don't know whether the camera can see this or not. The S stands for sequence. That means the verse after it, the verses that come right after it. Proverbs 8.22 that this, this scripture in Mishle, chapter 8, is a scripture that speaks of the, etern the eternality of Chokmah. That God's Chokmah was always possessed by him. Now, during the 19th century, there was a British scholar, very talented Hebrew exegete, and when he gets to the word kof nun he, he shows that it means to get, to acquire, to possess. It has to do with ownership. It has to do with property. And uh, the mikneh is not just cattle, but it can be other property. And that's also uh, involved with that same root. Kof Nun He. Now, when you get to the Orthodox Jewish Bible, we have three Bibles now, the Hebrew, the Yiddish, and the English. When you get to this translation, it says, Hashem possessed me in the Rashid of his Derek before, that's talking about pre-existence, his works of old, his creative works of old, before the creation. You say, Goebel, aren't you kind of... Uh, just nitpicking here, no, friend. This, this Aryan controversy was the main problem that wa was being dealt with in the third and the fourth centuries. Is it really a good idea, is it really wise to blithely insert Aryan translations into popular Messianic Bible versions? You see this? J.W.'s uh, cult Bible, their so-called Watchtower Bible. Here it is, right here. Do you really think that your your translation should line up with theirs? A popular translation says, Adonai made me at the beginning of his way, the first of his ancient works. And this particular translation, done by a cult, the New World JW translation, the Watchtower Cult Bible, says that he produced me at the beginning of his way. Produced, made, it's all the same Aryan heresy. You say, well, why are you nitpicking? It's not nitpick nitpicking, friend. It consumed the Orthodox believers the 3rd and 4th centuries. And here we are in, in the very beginnings of the Messianic Jewish revival, and the absolute pre-existence of the Zundfunder Eubister that is in 822, but also you don't have to wait for later scriptures. It's in 30 verse 4. Who is the Hokmah that by the by the word of the Lord where the heavens made? Who is this Hokmah? He's the Zundfunder Eubister. That's all found in Mishle. And we don't have to wait for a, a later revelation and also we we shouldn't question Johannan when he 
exegetes uh, Proverbs 8, 22 like this. Are you going, are you going to argue with the uh, Nessel Alon reference that this shouldn't have Proverbs 8, 22 out in the margin for John 1, 1, 1 to 3? Are you, are you going to deny that the battleground of controversy since the days of the Arian heresy has been Proverbs 8, 22? The only wise God who had his wisdom with him always. That, that wisdom that he, that he possessed. The word kofnun he, it's a word that connotes an owner. He owned your inner parts. He owns the heavens and the earth. He, he owned me. He possessed me. Hulkman is speaking here. Before his works of old, before his creative works of old, Colossians 1, 16 and 17, Hebrews 1, 3. Uh, this is found several times in the Breed Hadashah. This is not a minor issue in Messianic Bible translations, friend. This, this scripture, Proverbs 8, 22, has played an important part in the history of Orthodox dogma. And you possessed kuf nun he. You possessed my inward parts. If you go to our website, afii.org forward slash capital O, capital J, capital B dot uh, PDF, uh, you will find <clears throat> that, I, that I went through the Orthodox Jewish Bible and I made sure that that scripture was, that that verse and also that word kuf nun he was always translated in an orthodox way not like this guy uh he didn't he didn't uh worry about that and some of these messianic translators don't have any more wisdom than he had when it comes to proverbs 8 22. You, look, you better take a look at that before you spend a lot of money buying it it, it could have a, a leather uh, look this guy, uh, uh, Charles Taze Russell, if he gives you a heretical Bible, but he puts an, an expensive leather binding on it, are you gonna are you gonna fork over the cash to buy it? Of course not. So you say, well, just get off of it, go. But what what were you trying to do? Cause trouble? Look, we cannot blithely introduce Arian translations into messianic bibles without paying a terrible price because later on there will be messianic jews who don't even believe that mashiach ben dovid was elohut and that he incarnated in his own person the hokma which was with god he says in Johannine chapter 14 verse 10 that the uh, elohim haav is in me and I am in him. And that's the way it was before all creation. Amen.